Another week, another perplexing Twitter tirade from Tesla CEO Elon Musk. In a series of tweets into the evening hours Wednesday, Musk proposed the creation of a website he would call Pravda, a media credibility ranking site that would allow the public to score journalists for their truthfulness. Musk then crusaded for the democratic need of a free and fair press, but also criticized modern-day media. He scolded reporters for writing specific points of view for specific audiences, then flat out said the media should ask for support because they have a platform. In yet another Twitter rant, Elon Musk has proven himself a man unhinged. If you think that these tweets won't come back to bite him someday, you're one of the dumbest on Wall Street. Perhaps the biggest issue here is that Elon Musk, 46 years old and worth $18.8 billion, still thinks that anyone who disagrees with him is inherently a liar. My colleagues and I have combed through financials, spent a great deal of time speaking with experts, and used both journalism degrees and deductive reasoning to do our best to offer investors the information they need. Sometimes that information doesn't bode well for Tesla. Other times, it really does. You can't blame journalists for reporting the facts simply because you don't like them, Mr. Musk. And here are the facts. Tesla has a cash problem. Tesla can't meet its already stated production goals. Elon Musk tweets a lot. None of this is false, but it's a near guarantee that Musk's army will come out in droves each time a reporter writes it. Musk said to his child in a now famous Rolling Stone piece that his detractors were jerks who want us to die. Where's the impartiality in that, Musk? Part of running a public company and of being the kind of leader who also dates actresses and singers and attends the Met Gala is having people who don't agree with you. To think otherwise is just plain dumb.